Hi, this is Ann with Finance on the Offense, and today I'm going to talk to you about unclaimed Bitcoin or dormant Bitcoin accounts. So the scenario with this is 10 years ago, someone dabbles in Bitcoin. Maybe they invest a few hundred dollars or something like that. Then they completely forget about it or maybe lose their account info and the account sits there until today, the day that they magically remember all their information and are able to log in and they find they are suddenly Bitcoin millionaires. It's basically like winning the lottery. All right, let's get started. So the reason I bring this up today is in the Personal Finance Facebook group, a user named Jai Temp linked an article about a Bitcoin account that was dormant for nine years. I'll link the Facebook group below and also the article so you can take a look. So what happened was a Bitcoin address that was dormant for nine years was logged into sometime in July and someone transferred 640 Bitcoins out of it and into another account. As of today, 640 Bitcoins is worth over $29 million. The way we're even able to know that this happened is because of a tracking site called Whale Alert. It's basically a bot that tracks significant changes on the blockchain and then tweets about them on Twitter. So we don't really know the details of the person who did this. We just know the transaction happened. Now this account actually had 740 Bitcoins in it, but they only transferred 640. So there's still hundred left in there. Another thing to note is when this account was created back in 2013, those 740 Bitcoins were only worth $10,000. That's how much Bitcoin has grown over time. It's just crazy. Bitcoin was launched in 2009. So this is only four years after that. So it was really back in its infancy. A Bitcoin back then was worth $13. And today a Bitcoin is worth $45,678. Now this also happened, a similar situation happened in June. It was pretty much the exact same story. Another dormant account was logged into after nine years and then $34 million was transferred out of it. So I doubt if this really needs to be said, but if you have ever had a Bitcoin wallet, you should definitely check it to see how much is in there right now. Now here's my personal Bitcoin story. I have, well, I had a Bitcoin wallet back in 2015. There was this user on reddit.com called Bitcoin Santa back then. And he would just give little pieces of Bitcoin randomly to people. To receive Bitcoin from him, you first had to sign up for an account, uh, basically a, a Bitcoin wallet. And then you could ask Bitcoin Santa for a few little pieces of Bitcoin. So I did that and I got a few little bits or whatever of Bitcoin. And then I completely forgot about it. And I forgot what wallet company I was with. And I forgot my username and my password and everything. Fast forward to about April of 2021, uh, when Bitcoin was around $57,000, it suddenly dawned on me that I had a Bitcoin wallet out there somewhere from 2015. I couldn't remember how much was in it, but I knew I had to figure it out. So anyway, I went digging through all my tons of Reddit accounts and I finally found the threads where I was asking Bitcoin Santa for some Bitcoin back then. It turned out that he gave me 200 bits and this was in 2015 when Bitcoin was at $333. At that time, the 200 bits was only worth six cents. So yeah, not very much Bitcoin. So how much was 200 bits worth in April when I decided to check all this? I was really pretty pumped to find out, but turns out it was about $10. So not too impressive, but the fact that it started out at six cents and turned into $10 is really impressive. If it had been $60 instead of six cents, it would be more like $10,000. So did I go ahead and cash out my humongous payout of $10? Actually, no, and here's why. I have a vague memory of that Bitcoin wallet sending me an email saying they were shutting down their Bitcoin service. They told me that I needed to move my Bitcoin out of their wallet and into a different wallet or I would lose it. And they also let me know that the cost for doing this was something like, $3, something like that, really a minimal amount, but it was way more than the Bitcoin in the wallet was worth at the time. So I decided not to do it. No big loss though, only 10 bucks. Now in the comments section, let me know if you ever dabbled in Bitcoin back in 2012 or 2015 or any of those early years. Did you make a profit? 
All right, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like button and I'll see you next week with another finance on the offense video. Thank you.